Welcome to part 6 of our Dark Forces lore play series. Last time we fought our first Dark Trooper on the Blood Moon, and we got to that point thanks to information provided by our spy, Crix Medine. Unfortunately, Crix was caught in his defection and imprisoned on Oranakra, so now it's our job to break him out. Oranakra was an infamous prison planet located in wild space. It was a barren wasteland of large stone valleys. It looks like every other rocky planet in this game. Because of the limitations of 1995, pretty much every single planet is just made of rocky cliffs. But most of this level takes place inside. Our mission requires us to use the elevators to descend the facility, picking up keycards and codes that will allow us to get further and further until we ascend on the other side where the more valuable prisoners are. That's where Crix will be held. So who exactly is Crix Medine, and what made him defect? You might recognize him from his brief appearance in Return of the Jedi, so he is a canon character. But since Dark Forces is a Legends game, I'll be talking about his Legends history. Crix was a Corellian Imperial that had a reputation as an innovative tactician. He was the leader of the Storm Commandos, which were stormtroopers he handpicked and trained himself. The missions they were sent on became increasingly questionable, and when his unit was ordered to release a plague on the population of Dental, his guilt convinced him to defect. After the Battle of Yavin, he began leaking information about the Dark Trooper project until he was captured by Rom Mach and imprisoned here. We're currently in the less secure part of the prison, but it's still worth it to check these empty cells which the Empire filled with shields, ammo, and medkits for some reason. I don't really know why the prison is so empty- OH MY GOD! Why is this guy's reaction to his cell door being open to attack me? I'm sorry dude, but you scared me. Maybe he didn't realize I'm here to help. I didn't even give him a chance. Obviously this guy is meant to be an enemy in the game, but it really makes you think about who is in this prison and why. Were they wrongly imprisoned? Are they innocent- OH MY GOD ANOTHER ONE! Anyway, now that I've effectively given Kyle PTSD, I figured we could talk about the prison planets of Star Wars because there isn't much information at all about Oranakra itself. So I'll cover a little bit about Kessel, Despair, and Uvo 4, and what Imperial prison planets were like. Kessel was one of the most famous prisons in the galaxy. It was a labor camp where prisoners were forced to mine glitter stem and fight off giant spiders. After the fall of the Empire, the mines were purchased by Lando and Nine Num ran a legitimate, non-slave labor mining business there. The not so subtly named Despair was a prison and slave planet that was one of the sites of the construction of the first Death Star. After its completion, Tarkin ordered the planet destroyed in three test fires of the Super Laser. The planet was originally called Horas, and that planet name is mentioned in the Rogue One novelization as a reference to the Death Star's legend's history. Uvo 4 was home to a pod race track, but also a maximum security prison called Desolation Alley. Technically, it was a Republic prison during the Clone Wars, but I imagine it remained in service under the Empire. The Fire Spray class ship was created there, and one was stolen by Jango Fett and renamed the Slave One. I think Desolation Alley is probably the most similar prison planet to Oranakra, but there isn't much information on it either. All we know after the Clone Wars was that it was destroyed by the Yuuzhan Vong. Like the Gromas Mines and Imperial Research Facility levels before, this place is unnecessarily complex. I walked back and forth across this place like four times after having killed everyone. I just imagine Kyle surrounded by bodies, studying a map, trying to figure out what in the world he's supposed to do. But in the end, we reach our goal and we save Crix. Medin then slipped back to Corellia for a time. Although some rebel leaders were suspicious of him, he was eventually allowed to be a member of the High Command Advisory Council and took part in the Battle of Endor, as well as multiple missions against the Imperial Prison on Kessel. And that's it for today. If you missed the rest of this series, you can check out the full playlist here. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.